We're here today at Jimmy Fitzpatrick's house. This is really an iconic spot for freestyle motocross. So we figured this can be a better place than this spot here to do a militia photo shoot. I know it's been a long time. Now I feel like it's uh, officially time to get back and give it a, a little bump start and get the crew back together. And the new business that's running it now, they're doing the right job. I see the efforts getting put in. I see things are right. So I'm like, let's freaking give it a run, you know? So got all the boys together. It should be a fun day. The main thing is just keeping, militia will always be what it is, right? It's always gonna be its core vibe and about dirt bikes and moto and having fun, you know? So it's cool. You know, it's something we've always done. Dirt bikes have always been the number one thing I like the most, so. Definitely held off on bringing Hayden out here to Jimmy's house, cause all the jumps are really big. But, you know, at this point, he's a pretty good judge on what to hit and what not to hit. I'm kind of have to leave that up to him. And hopefully he doesn't, you know, get like I was when I was young and get carried away and just start sending stuff. But, uh, yeah, I don't know, he's smart. All right, guys, we're here at Jimmy Fitzpatrick's house. He has a ton of dirt jumps, got ramps, got everything that I love to have at a, on my, ride, I love to ride on my dirt bike. So we're gonna get geared up in a little bit and ride because this is gonna be sick. Yeah, so th this bike here, last time I rode it was Winter X Games when I crashed really bad. You know, I won Summer X Games on this, did the first 360, went to Winter X Games and over that 100 foot ice jump, tried to do a 360, didn't have the rotation, let it go in the air. Probably one of the worst crashes I've had. Broke my femur in like 10 spots in both wrists. And uh, that was a bad one. And then I think that was the last time this bike got ridden. And then we built a new one for that year later when I recovered. And that's when I came back and won the next year at Winter, Winter X on a different bike. The bike's at my shop. But these bikes have been sitting for a long time. Think, 03, 04, 2019. So, you know, it's been a long time, dude. It's all good. This is all airbrush. That ain't graphics. This is OG stuff. Way before there was any graphics made for freestyle. So this is all Jesse James hand painting everything. So you just don't see that anymore. Good, man. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Brought out the. Yeah, yeah. Uh, That's uh, it. Off. I was, hey, I was at the at the old cow scene. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. Were you four years old? <laughs> uh, dude, I was, uh, actually, I think it was like nine or ten. Yeah, like, that was 2003. Yeah, I was and born in there. So. Yeah, yeah I, I was, yeah, I was pretty young. Maybe ten. But yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was pumped. No, that's cool. But, yeah, yeah, I remember so. seeing this bike when I was younger. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's all, yeah, I painted it, hand, like, airbrushed and stuff, Damn. so. Yo. Yeah, Hello, Bowman. Have you met Hayden? Yeah, I just yeah. met him right now. Yeah. Six cool. shirt, dude. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Better take my aspirin before I ride. <laughs> my freestyle bike. Just cut my fenders. We used to really cut our fenders in the back because you'd hit your feet doing Indian air sea grass. You know what we you thought you needed them shorter so you could do the Indian air. Instead of just doing them up, you know? Yeah, you know what you really need to do is run 444 with long fenders. Long fenders. So, because you know on Ronnie Mac has short fenders, you need long fenders. Super long ease? Yeah. Not like straight. It's way out there. <laughs> <laughs>
Hey, what happened? I blew out all the smokes. I barely, like, I hit it fine, but I barely, like, clipped a little bit of the edge, and it just blew out all my smokes, and I have a flat tire. It didn't last very long. The rear wheel couldn't stand to handle it. So, decked the landing just a little bit and exploded the rear wheel. Definitely, uh, definitely should have had uh, more air pressure in the tires. We didn't think about it, just running moto pressures. And uh, here, the dirt's so hard and the jumps are so big, you have to run more air pressure. And that's the only thing that saves the wheels. And, uh, so anyway, we blew up, blew up the rear wheel on the bike, so we're gonna have to find another rear wheel, you know? So it is what it is, it happens. <laughs> some new hats, some new stuff here. It's a new deal, 20 years. <laughs> it's one of the only companies I think still around in 20 years, especially in our industry. I think the only one, dude, like you think about it, like Skin, Hart Huntington, like you go down that list, you know? Famous. Famous, <laughs> yeah. So, group shots, good. It's been a while since we got the group together. It's really, at the end of the day, just about guys riding dirt bikes. The the joy of, like, really riding a motorcycle. So, that's kind of this crew here. I'd say the militia has always just been about the guys that ride dirt bikes. So, it's cool to get everyone together, old, young, and then just enjoy the, uh, everyone's on the same the same vibe of, of just enjoying, you know, dirt bikes. So it's cool. I think it's a good day. And we're gonna go watch the dude send it on a three-wheeler. That's gonna be added add bonus for today. And then, uh, other than that, might hit a little session again, a little riding deal again. All right. Going back for another session. Tire blew out last session, so. What about Gonna have to blow out another set. Yeah. We brought a spare, so we should be good. Hey, can you hit it straight up and over? Have you seen what's on the other side? What? Because I think when you land this one here, you should stay on the gas, and then you can jump it up and over that hill.
try to like loop it out, like pull yeah. them in. Yeah, Hayden, the more, the more looped, the more they tweak it. The more they can loop, the, get the front wheel high, the more they crank it in the end and get it up. I like doing it in the mid, just like how Cole told me. I need Colby to come to my house and teach me how to whip. <laughs> 